Welcome to the Build and Open AI Home Assistant. Now the goal of this project is to explore Whisper. Now Whisper is a multilingual speech to text transcriber. The other goal of this project is to explore open AI functions. The simplest way to think about open AI functions is the ability to extract out structured data from an unstructured prompt. Now the scenario for this project is a home assistant. And if you think about a home assistant, it can perform lots of different functions from turning on lights to getting weather, to finding out what the time is in another city. Now those functions map really well to open AI functions and you'll see that in the solution. Now this solution runs on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. And at the moment it takes a dependency on open AI model version 613. Now these models, or this model version, has support for open AI functions. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is switch across to the solution. Now in the solution, I have a number of functions that have been defined. So I've got um, set the light state. Remember this is a home assistant, so I'm gonna turn on the light, set the color and brightness. Now remember what I said is that we're extracting structured data from an unstructured prompt. So you need to go and describe the shape of the structure of the data that you want to extract. So in this case, you've got properties and I want to extract out device. And the device is the name of the light. I've given it some hints here to kind of help steer the model. Um, so I've got bedroom, hallway lights, and I want to be able to set the state of the light to be on or off. And I want to, be able to set the brightness and the color. Okay, I can define multiple functions. In this case, I've got a washing machine. I've got a door lock. I want to better get the time. So to get time, uh, the property and the structure of the data I want to extract out is location, in this case, the city or the time zone. And I want open AI to say this is a, the location is a required property for when it returns. Um, same deal here for weather. In this case here, I want location and unit. So the unit here is Celsius to Fahrenheit. And I said at the very least, I want the required location. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is run this application. First thing I need to go and do is select the microphone. What is the temperature in Seattle in Fahrenheit? Okay, so what's happened here is that Whisper has transcribed, in this case, English uh, into, into text. It's then taken this text plus all those functions, which I just showed you a moment ago, and has sent that to OpenAI. Now, OpenAI has returned back and said that, yes, there is a matching function. And the function name here is get current weather. And you remember the function, the OpenAI functions is about returning structured data. And you remember I described the structure. I said I wanted location and I wanted unit. And the unit, the location come back here is Seattle and the unit is Fahrenheit. Then inside the application, what I do is I go and get the weather and I call the weather API and I pass in the location. And the location was obviously Seattle. I then go and get that data and then I use that data to ground a new OpenAI prompt. And then OpenAI will return back a completion here, which just says the current weather in Seattle is sunny with a temperature of 73.9 Fahrenheit. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense what's going on. Next example I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on a living room light. Turn on the living room light and set the color to purple and set the brightness level to dim. So Whisper is going to go away and transcribe that text. So what you can see over here, there's a transcription. You can see that, remember I said all those functions along with this prompt. Um, OpenAI came back and said, yep, I found a matching function called set light state. The device name was lounge. I want to turn the lounge light on. I want to set the brightness to low and the, the color to purple. Okay, so hopefully that's um, reasonably clear what's going on. Now, in terms of how is this application being orchestrated, this application takes a really simple approach to this. And um, what I'm doing is I'm using a state machine. And literally, I'm just walking this agent through various different states. Um, the first state, as you might imagine, is record um, some audio. The next state I'm going to do is transcribe 
that audio. The next state is I'm going to try and extract out a function. If that is successful, then this, the, the state machine just nudges on one more, one more level. I'm going to then execute that um, function. You remember it's not OpenAI that's um, executing that function. It's up to this application, which is in this case an agent-based application. And this agent application is going to say, okay, um, the next process for this function, which is get weather, for example, go and call the function, which is called report weather. Okay, and then it does that, and then that will complete and return back the text for the, the weather. And then the final state for the state machine is just do a general cleanup. So really simple orchestration for this agent, just using a very simple state machine. Okay, so hopefully that's fairly clear what's going on with this application. Have a play around with it. Whisper, OpenAI, the OpenAI Whisper is a really powerful uh, transcriber, multilingual transcriber. And functions, you remember, really simple. You think they're much more complicated, but all they're doing is extracting out structured data from an unstructured prompt. Okay, enjoy the project and um, have fun playing with it, building your own home assistant and extending on the idea. Thank you very much.